Um, I don't believe there's been a, a large deterioration, but we have seen a definite change in emphasis. There's different sectors that have become important. I think the general focus of economic activity and also sentiment in the region has moved away from big ticket items, flagship projects, due to the fact that uh, there is a slowdown in government expenditure and it's moved into areas that have a different emphasis, uh, areas that are driven by the high levels of population growth and spending which, uh, which still persist in the region. Well, certainly the oil prices had impacted the region in general. We've seen uh, slow and growth, uh, we've seen some change in focus, we've seen some diversity. Government projects had slowed down generally and uh, this is due to the uh, austerity measures that the governments are applying in order to curb for the defects in budgets uh, due to the, oil, the cheap oil prices. I don't think due to the slide in oil prices uh, we've seen deterioration uh, in Kuwait. For the most part it's business as usual, uh, business is going along. I know there's some concerns because it's, it's government revenue uh, and you want to see those oil prices go higher but from a business standpoint in the market uh, like I said, it's business as usual and, and direct investment is being uh, pushed uh, and it's more, I think at this point in time, to be a fo uh, allowing it to be a focus on alternative economic uh, diversity as opposed to just relying on oil. Historically, Iranian economy has been heavily oil and gas based. Uh, that has changed with the drop in oil prices. The production has dropped from uh, 2.4 in 2011 to 1.4 in 2014 at the height of the sanctions. That has resulted in a reprioritization by the Iranian government in terms of uh, refocusing on various other sectors, hospitality, tourism, and major infrastructure projects are uh, among a few.